Hi there, today we're going to review Demi Moore's nighttime skincare routine. So she starts with uh, talking about how she's going to cleanse her skin. So this is Demi Moore's nighttime skincare routine. And I was really excited to do this one because as um, soon as she <laughs> started with her routine, she started with a cloth and I am a huge believer in cloths for skincare. So I don't have a special one in the sense of this makeup eraser. I don't. I don't buy the whole thing, but I do have good quality face cloths or hand cloths, hand towels, and I will have two or three of them, and I will use them in my skincare routine. I always have one that's kind of wet, okay, um, and it uh, facilitates the cleansing and the usage of everything. So I'm going to show you how to use the cloth properly, but I use it with uh, water, and then you put your product on, and this is how I tend to rinse and take everything away. So I don't know, maybe it's an age thing, maybe it's a stage thing, but I think having a cloth while you do your skincare routine is a really good practice. It helps everything along better. I think it's very hygienic, um, and I love it. So I love that she started that way by utilizing a cloth. Then she goes into Cleansing and she talks about doing two different kinds of cleansing depends on what is happening with her skin So um, that makes sense double cleanse. So if you've got makeup on you're gonna start want to start with a makeup remover Okay, so we have like our without a trace makeup remover. This will dissolve the makeup you cleanse that off use your towel and then you go in and do the secondary cleanse here we've got a double duty cleanser. This is very hydrating. It's very moisturizing. It's not gonna strip the pH balance, very much like her cleansing routine. So we've got the fact that we're gonna be using cloths. This is really good. Always have two or three of them with you. This is really, you know, cause one will be wet. You're probably gonna need another one uh, that's dry. I always like to have a couple of them. Then we're gonna, you're gonna use your double cleanse. And then we're going to go into our um, so the clay treatment phase, which is phase two of a skincare routine. So before she gets into her routine, she she does her cleansing and then she rinses everything off by using the cloth, which is really really great. Um, I love that because it's going to help with a little bit of microcirculation. It's going to help with a little bit of exfoliation. Just things work better. You know, it's, it's even fun just doing it like this as we're speaking. Then she gets into spraying the room with aromatherapy. And that's great because anything that makes you feel better is good. So maybe turn some music on, change the lighting. You know, this is going to help you unwind. The whole idea of doing your skincare routine is also something that helps with your mental health, helps with your mood. It just helps you overall. The fact that you're connecting with yourself. So don't worry about necessarily having the, a spray to set a room. Have yourself present. Have yourself, you know, in an area that you like. Make it as pretty as you want. Make it smell the way you want. These are things that are really going to encourage you. And studies are actually showing that when you are doing your skincare routine, when you're touching yourself, when you're touching your skin, when you're doing a little bit of the massage, even on the neck or applying the product, you're actually helping yourself more than just your skin. You're, it really works on a lot of the receptors. So this is a really good thing to be aware of. And yes, it's true. As we get older, we don't see so much. <laughs> we do have a hard time with our vision. So our senses have changed a lot. So this is why it's really good to have a really good um, ritual with your skincare. Though even if you're doing it not 100% perfectly, the fact that you have a skincare routine, a fact that you have some place to go to every day is important because this is going to be predictable, it's going to be certain, and in a time of uncertainty or a time in your life when a lot of things could be going sideways, a lot of noise out there this is going to be your time and it's going to be about your peace and your mental health and your beauty right so it gives you a little bit more so I'm really glad she talked about that too in the sense of she sets her mood she sets her room so set your mood set your intention set your room like even if it is just a 
clean your skin properly, look as best as you can and have a good night's sleep, that's amazing, right? That's how we're gonna start taking care of ourselves, one thing at a time, right? So let's go on with our skincare routine. All right, so her brand new favorite is a copper peptide concentrate. This is what we're known for. Eisenberg's Laboratories launched copper peptide uh, concentrates years ago, so I am a big believer in copper peptide. She's utilizing um, copper peptides, our trace mineral copper peptide, absolute must. It's gonna help with your collagen, it's gonna help with sensitive skin, it's gonna help as an antioxidant, it's gonna have peptide technology. This is really good for anti-aging, it's really good for soothing, it's really good for so many things. You will find that the copper peptides have to be in a format, like you can find blue or green copper peptides. I like clear copper the best with trace minerals. Very, very healing, very, very good. It is oil-free. It is going to help with fine lines and wrinkles, with sensitivity. It just really helps to nourish and reset. So I'm a big believer in copper peptides. I love the fact that she's using a copper peptide. I think you'll love this one. So you're cleansing. And the first thing she's using is the copper peptide after that. So far, so good. So after a copper peptide, she goes in and she talks about the, the skin tightening and the benefits of the copper. So I just wanted to touch upon that as well. It will help with your collagen quality. It's going to help with your pore size. It is a really good thing to stick into your um, skincare routine um, because it does have so many benefits to it. And I've really for years, that's really been one of my pillars has been the copper peptide very important along with antioxidants. Then she goes into her moisturizers. We're using an osmotic regulator. Her moisturizers um, have a lot of properties to them as well. The moisturizer that we're utilizing is going to really ensure that there's moisture in the skin. She's also adding an oil and we are putting our precious oil with it. Our precious oil is loaded with a lot of regenerative, restorative, hydrating, calming and soothing elements. So we can mix a little bit of our, um, this one here is the Forever Youth with the Extremophiles with the precious oil together, put that on the skin. Now she talks about applying it to your neck and down to your tatas, which is absolutely a must. Really, truly, you've got to think about all of this as your face, all of it, all the way down here. You want this to be, I always say we want it in the same decade, right? You don't want your decollete, your neck, the chest area to look old or weather beaten. So this is a really good time at nighttime to do a skincare routine that takes you from, you know, the top of your head to your hairline, all the way down to the chest area and really work on this skin. If you're going to do what she's doing, which is the next step, I am not a big fan of the gua sha. I believe I'm saying that correctly. Because it is a tool that you can hurt your skin with. You can hurt your connective tissue. You can hurt your fascia. It is something that can be, uh, you can be a little too eager and that can cause a lot of problems with your skin. But if you want to use it, uh, make sure you have slip on your skin. So add another bit of the precious oil. I personally believe you can do it with your hands. That's going to be one. So there's massage that you can actually do that's going to be equally, if not more beneficial than using the gua sha. And the other is use a stainless steel. It doesn't have to be jade. I, I prefer stainless steel. Just It's just much more hygienic. Roller. Um, and you can get, you know, do this as well. And that's going to help with the massage. Massage is good. Massaging, stimulating the lymphatic drainage, going down to the area by the neck here is very important for women. Um, you know, Demi and I, I'm, I'm a bit older than her, but I, I, you know, I believe too, I've seen through experience, um, what happens to us as we age, right? Going through changes, going through menopause and really helping to reset 
um, and reground ourselves. The massage really helps. It helps with a lot of the lymphatic drainage. It helps a lot with just taking the tension out. It brings focus back. It helps with uh, microcirculation. So anything you can do, and at nighttime, if you've set the mood, this will be a really good go-to-bed routine um, that takes your face, your neck, your chest, your tatas all into consideration, <laughs> if you will, which is important because you're going to wake up feeling better and fresher. So, hope you enjoyed our review of Demi Moore's nighttime skincare routine. Um, if you have questions and comments, please do them below and we look forward to seeing you soon.